Well, we love visiting with a good friend of ours, Janine Laughlin from New Horizon Academy, and she's in the Iowa great outdoors right now. She's rooftop right now in one of the outdoor classrooms that they have set up there at New Horizon Academy. Good morning, Janine. How are you? Good. I'm great. It's a little we're warm out here, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but you uh, actually, I, I thought you were on the rooftop. Or where are you at right now? Well, I'm at our West Des Moines location. Oh, okay. So no rooftop playground here, but uh, we still have our outdoor classroom set up here for the kids to enjoy since it's summer and they need to be outside. Yeah, the reason that we, we, uh, we saw the fence and we just assumed where you were there, but you do have various locations around town. Let's make sure people know the three different locations uh, where you guys are set up. Sure. So we have our location downtown at Southwest 9th, and then we have our location in Johnston at um, 86th Street and the 60th And then we have our West Des Moines location where it's at University and 90th, so right on the verge of West Des Moines and Waukee. So. Excellent. Now you have a chance to uh, take care of kids uh, a variety of different ages and still every time you say this, I have to listen carefully because uh, you really do uh, run the whole gamut here. Tell everybody how old the kids you take care of. Right. We will take babies starting at six weeks and we will take children all the way through the end of their fourth grade year. So 11 around 11. So we've got the gamut of age groups and lots of fun activities for everybody. Yeah, wonderful summer program for kids of all ages, as you just heard right now and incredible outdoor classrooms like you are experiencing right now. Uh, are you going to be able to show us a little bit around as to what, what you have over on the west side there? Yep, absolutely. We can kind of find, I've got my handy dandy camera woman with me this morning. <laughs> One of the things that we love to do um, in the summer or even in the fall and the spring is we love to give the kids the opportunity to play in the mud. They love to be messy. They enjoy measuring and making recipes. So this is our great mud kitchen. And as you can see here, we've got water for them and dirt for them. They can mix, they can make they can try to see if they can make it strange and strainers. We've got some things like glitter for them to add to their recipes um, and even recipe cards for them to look up and see. Ooh, there we go. Um, but they can make dandelion jam, pretend, um, all kinds of different things for them to mix, all kinds of potions um, for them to just explore and have fun with. journal they can paint they can color they can you know draw pictures of what they see outside um you know just giving them the opportunity to learn in a different environment so fun things for that and then of course in the summer who doesn't want to play in water so you know kids again pouring measuring throwing it at each other <laughs> all kinds of things um this is great fine motor skill where they're sucking the water up and then pouring it down to see what will happen so it has an effect so well it's really important to keep the kids active especially outdoors too and that's what you're encouraging here why is it so important to, to keep them moving like this well, first of all, you know, we have a child obesity problem in, in America. They are sitting in front of TVs, they're sitting in front of their um, electronics. So getting them out and getting them moving and teaching them that being an active person is being a healthy person and it's really good to take care of our bodies. Um, also, children who struggle indoors in the classroom have much better focus and attention outside. So again, that opportunity for them to learn um, is much more in tune in the outdoors for a lot of kids. So, you know, just giving them different things to look at and different things to see and just the fresh, fresh air gives them, you know, um, free breathing and just area and space for them to roam. So and, and taking a look at at your mud kitchen and also the the art area you have uh, just giving them the ability to have a little bit of creativity uh, goes a long way, doesn't it? Right, it sure does. And one of the other things I want to take you over here. One of the other things that we love to do outside is um, we love to do our group times, whether it's reading or talking about the calendar or the weather. You can see we have um, group times set up for them. They're all set and ready to go today. But, you know, we've got a little bit more back to nature where they can sit on a little tree stump or a little um, sofa right here. You know, nothing but the best for the kids. <laughs> 
um, little, you know, shaded areas. So we also um, can read out here to them in a group setting and do some of our five-day read aloud, um, talking about the book, the beat, what happens at the beginning, what happens at the end. You know, here's the cover. Is it a higher hardcover book? Is it a soft cover book? So all that can happen in addition out, out in the outdoor classroom. So, all right. Tell us about your outdoor great adventures that you have lined up too. Right, so uh, right now we're in the midst of our summer program, and it's a little different this summer. We're not taking the children on field trips, and we're not having any in-house um, adventures coming in, but we have taken the opportunity to do um, more activities. We are doing um, a lot more art and easel painting um, with different things. They made puffy paint the other day, and it's a special recipe, but they could see you know, how different that is, and you know, just putting things like salt in the paint giving them different textures and um so also we've got um our reading summer reading program for the kids so they can see how many minutes they read this summer and get prizes one of the other things we do is do we do journaling so when we talk about our garden which is over here, um, the salsa garden this summer so we're growing tomatoes peppers and some um jalapenos um we can do a, a, a garden journal or we can also do a bird watching journal so so our kids can see what kind of birds they're seeing out here. Talk about different things like a leaf adventure and what kinds of leaves they're finding. So there's a lot of different opportunities that we can do outside that is incorporating summer fun, you know, in a I love the, the way you, uh, you're incorporating the gardening into it and then the, the birds because, you know, even with, if they're over at the outdoor uh, classroom, uh, they can see uh, some birds that come over there. But even when they go home, they can take that knowledge and apply it when they, when they get back home, too. And then they can teach their uh, parents or guardians uh, or brothers and sisters what's going on, too. We love it when the children go home and teach their parents what they've learned at school. So <laughs> Now, we also understand, uh, Janine, you have a stage uh, set up, too, uh, at some of your locations. Is that right? Yes, we have a stage at all three of our locations, and it's really great fun for the older kids. They love to um, write plays or write productions and then perform them, so we can do that here. Um, we also have musical instruments and dance. So they can make music and just be really fun and creative and um, enjoy themselves. You know, that's what that's what kids want to do. They want to express themselves in different ways. And so this is a great opportunity. They love the stage. So that is awesome. Now, okay, don't you need you need to get on the stage. You need to turn around and get up on the stage. Okay. And then while you're on the stage, you can, <laughs> you look really good. Good job. And so, so they can, the kids can experience that and what it's like to have everybody focus attention on them and give them confidence too, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. And we're all about, our company was founded on building children's self-esteem. So this is a great way, you know, allowing them to have conversation during group time and ask questions and talk about the knowledge that they have, whether it's really knowledge about what they're learning or not. It doesn't matter. All, um, all of those opportunities do help them build self-esteem. And when they have great self-esteem, then they're much better learners when they get to school. All right. Judy, tell us about the three locations and where people can check this out and give their kids an experience that they will take with them forever. So once again, um, we have our downtown location at Southwest 9th and Murphy. We have our Western location at 9th and University, and our Johnston location at 86th and 62nd Avenue. And we are right now um, enrolling for fall and for those school agers. So if there's um, some concern about what you're going to do with your school age child, reach out to us. We've got a lot of great opportunities for them this fall in helping them work through their online learning and doing homework and those types of things. All right. NewHorizonAcademy.net. Thank you so much, Jenny. You take care of yourself. You stay healthy. Okay, buddy? Thanks, Lou. You too. We'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.